Neki are a band who've been catching a lot of well-deserved hype, in my opinion. A lot of people, especially bandmade fans, it must be said, are really excited for this upcoming group because of the fact that, well, they've just been given all the right signs. Their first single was really catchy and fun, but also had a great rock energy. The band seemed to come across well. I'm glad to say that I'm going to be seeing them live just over a week from now in a small venue, so I'll be able to report back to you from that. But just everything about them, they give a really good vibe. And um, also, they've been doing a lot of band-made covers, which of course further ingratiated them to the band-made fan base. But the truth is, is this is a new starting band. Now, obviously giving all those signals of something that we already love, that makes us very excited. But I also want to see them create a little bit of their own identity. You know, we don't just want to have a band made 2.0, but that's the thing. I don't think they're going to be that. I, I, I've got, a, I just got a good vibe about this band. I've got a good vibe about this band. Anyway, we've only had the one music video come out so far. And here is the second one. They weirdly said it was going to be coming out at zero o'clock. So basically midnight and it didn't come out. And then randomly it's come out at nine o'clock in the evening. So I don't know, maybe I missed the time zone that they were writing on that. But <laughs> anyway, the new Neki single is here. Let's check it out. I'm glad to see this band growing. I can't wait to see what this single's going to be. And as I say, want to be happy as a band made fan who, but also just as someone who's excited to see a band coming up doing their own thing. So uh, I'm really excited. Let's check this out. I'm going to stop waffling now. Wait, I can't hear anything. That's. <laughs> <laughs> that's, not, that's not a good sign if I can't hear anything. Uh, where is my sound? Oh, now I can hear something. Right, okay. That, <laughs> you can probably hear that. I couldn't hear that. All right, let's, let's try that again. Oh, yeah. They got that bass line that you need to be a classic Japanese rock band. I'm liking that major chord feel. Oh, I like that, dropping the last beat out as well. So far, so good. Mixture of rock and a bit of joy. Yeah, I think we're okay. Oh, see, they got it. They got a mixture of the rock energy, but they've also kept it light and poppy, and they've added to that accessible, friendly fun that the first single had. That drum beat's fantastic as well. Listen to where the snares are landing. Well, not now, but. <laughs> also, like, it's not rinse and repeat of the first single. It's totally different. But it maintains all the things that we wanted to hear from them. Okay, bridge time. You can make or break a song in the bridge. Nice, nice, nice. Bit of guitar solo, bit of vocals. I'd give him a like right now. <laughs> Very, very happy about what I'm hearing right now. Oh. 
even the nice little that little cadence, that little closing phrase on the chorus. Everything about this is written with attention to detail. It's not complacent. It's not just a lazy rock song. It's a song with like ah, yep. All right, let's dive into this. Okay, so Neki. Um, do you know what? Honestly, I'll be 100% honest with you. When uh, I went into, I saw the teaser for this. Um, I didn't want to, but I saw a few seconds of it and I quickly stopped it. And I just heard that sort of really rocky bit. I was like, that's good. But I had this fear and I'll be honest with you. I like all genres of music, but I, I always veer away from anything if too many bands are doing it. And there's been this thing, certainly off the coattails of bands like Bandmade, where it feels like there's a lot of bands who it feels like, okay, if you want to connect with an overseas audience, be heavy. Heavier, if you just do everything heavy, overseas audiences will like you. And that tends to play out a little bit as well, because, you know, a lot of the overseas fans who are looking for Japanese music are more rock fans and metal fans. So, you know, from the very first time I heard Neki, what I really liked about them is the fact that they had the quality of a rock band, the intricacies, the nuances of a proper talented rock band. But at the same time, they were doing that sort of fun music that you get in Japan where it's quality, but it's also accessible. It's got a slightly poppy quality to it, but I don't mean that in a derogatory way. I mean that actually in a very positive way in that it's quality, detailed stuff that you can enjoy and you can sing along to as well as rocking out to. And so, you know, I was a little bit fearful and I guess I probably will be fearful over the coming few years. I want Nikki to have variation, but ultimately I want them to keep that spark of fun at the core of it. And this was so much that. Um, so we start off with the rocking energy, you get into headbang, but then you get into that first verse and what you're getting, you're getting sort of like a lot of major chords, you're getting a fairly sort of nostalgic sounding melody. It's quite nice. You know, the rhythm's nice and skippy. Again, I didn't mention it enough, but if you listen to the drum beat, especially in the verse, well, all the way through, the drumming is fantastic in this. Not so much, again, not so much complicated, but really well written, you know, nice shifts in the rhythm, keeping everything interesting. Um, you get that nice verse, and then it builds up through a beautiful pre-chorus, and, and the chorus, great. Da, 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 quite a fast vocal line. You have syllables are coming thick and fast, but it sort of skips along. It, you know, it doesn't feel rushed. It feels light and free and bouncy, and you can just sing along to it. You've got that nice rising bass line underneath. Yes, the bass line becomes much more solid in the chorus, just da, 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 and building up and then building up. And yeah, it's just got all of the right elements to really just have you going, yeah, just have you sort of feeling emotionally like, wow, this song feels fun. It feels like it's got heart as well. It's not just a four chord catchy song to get stuck in your head. It feels like it's got some soul. It feels like it's got some heart. It feels like it's got some meaning. And then underneath that, again, all that musical intricacy that you want from a rock band. Um, the bridge as well. I, I like that. You know, I, I, I've often been, um, I sometimes get picked up on this. I love bridges, but Sometimes I feel it becomes a bit of a rock default, just do a guitar solo. Um, in this case, we had a little bit of guitar soloing, but it was layered alongside some vocal. There was a proper vocal line written for the bridge that builds you up towards the last chorus. I think there was perhaps a few, a few bars there, if I'm being ultra critical, a few bars there like at the end of the bridge and the beginning of the chorus where it seemed to sort of drop out a little bit. And I think they were trying to drop you out and then throw you back in with the last chorus. And it, it, it didn't quite have the... The, the punch and energy that I think they were going for. But still, you know, overall, it was a pretty damn good bridge and it did basically feed you into the last chorus really well. The last chorus felt like that big final heroic hurrah and that's all you really want from it. Um, and again, right down to those last few bars where instead of just finishing on the last note, they just run the chorus out a little bit longer. Oh yeah, I, I this is everything that I wanted from it. I mean, I've said it before, my big thing that I'm a big fan of, um, songwriting comes first. Everything is downstream of songwriting. And songwriting, this had it. You know, from the, uh, like, just if we go direct to the basics, you know, the chord patterns, the melodies, the way they evolved over the cor uh, course of the song, you know, the way the rhythm of the lyrics changed up, especially in the chorus, it was faster, but it was skipping along with a sort of enthusiastic energy rather than a sort of panicked muddle. The verses are a little bit slower delivery because they were a little bit more nostalgic. There was a lot of heart in it. Yeah. I really like this. I've I got to be honest, this was even better than I expected. I was, you know, I've joined the Neki Discord like a week or two ago. I've been like, I've been rooting for this band quite early on. And always when that happens, I'm always honest on this channel. And I'm always thinking, I hope they live up to everything I expect. Hope they live up to everything I want because I'm going to be honest if they don't. You know, I'm not going to be mean, but I'm going to, you know, I can't be a fan of something I don't like. 
this was better than I expected. I really liked it. I really liked it. I can't wait for more. Get in the comments, tell me what you're thinking until I hopefully see you very soon in Japan for the next one of these. For now, ciao, ciao.